the executive order signed by President Trump is discriminatory, uh, discriminatory on religion, and, and, and frankly, quite disgusting. It is also counterproductive. Uh, the expressed intent is to protect the United States against terrorists. But the fact of the matter is, not a single terrorist incident since, nine, since before 9-11 has been caused by anyone from any of the seven countries that the president named. By contrast, a country like Saudi Arabia, wh which produced most of the uh, attackers on, uh, on uh, September 11th, is not covered by this order. Secondly, the refugees who have valid visas, the president said he wants extreme vetting. We've been doing extreme vetting for, for years. We've been doing vetting. All these refugees have been examined and their bona fides looked into and their records looked into for an average of two years, two years by American authorities. The, fe the, the person who was held and was released this morning, finally released this morning, who was, deta who was detained overnight, um, Hamid Darwish, was a marked man in Iraq because he served as an interpreter and worked with American troops. He helped the U.S. Army for years. He is not a potential terrorist. So it is counterproductive, is ridiculous, and it discriminates on the basis of religion because Christians from these countries are allowed in. Only Muslims from these countries are not, and that goes against every ounce of our tradition from George Washington onward, and, and it doesn't help protect the United States.